Hey guys, what's up and welcome to part three of my web design process. I'm working on a website for a startup company based in San Francisco called OpenMind. Um, you can watch the first two episodes in this series where we discussed how we came up with the content strategy for the website and the wireframes. And for the past two weeks, we've been working together, me and Max, uh, the co-founder of OpenMind, together with an illustrator, working on the design in kind of a, actually a collaborative way. And I wanna show you the whole process, how we just started, it was a little bit crappy, and then it progressed until I think it looks great now. And so I wanna show you the whole process. We've been working in Sketch, uh, I want to show you the files and explain the whole process. Just to give you a little bit of context as to how we worked, uh, since Max is based in San Francisco, I'm working in Tel Aviv, Israel, and we have a huge time difference. Um, so he just wakes up when I'm going to sleep. So every night I would kind of send him the progress of the day, actually the sketch files themselves. He would write like four or five emails with comments and actually change some stuff in the sketch file himself. He was really hands on. Uh, and then I would wake up in the morning, have all the comments and would be able to progress. Now, I think that if I was like a junior designer just starting out, this kind of a collaboration would annoy me because what are you touching in the, the sketch files and trying stuff yourself and moving stuff, you're ruining the design. But, you know, I'm at this point right now where I really appreciate him trying to help me and he actually helped me solve a lot of problems and help ideate stuff. So this was really, really a great and fruitful um, collaboration. And uh, yeah, I think even Max was surprised at the fact that I'm like taking all of these feedback pretty cool, but I think it really helped the result to become great. So the way that we approach this, we started off with this wireframes, which I won't go into detail right now. You can see the video about the wireframes and how we structure them. Um, but since this wasn't a branding project, we didn't really have a color scheme. We didn't have uh, a typographic kind of structure and um, and we didn't have a style for it. So we said, let's get started defining the style of the website through the hero. Let's just design the hero until we like it. And then we'll implement this style through the whole website. So we had a, a reference for the illustration, which was this illustration from Pastel. We liked how the characters were kind of like artistic, a little bit vague and the color palette was like neat. And so we said, let's get started with this, this as a general starting point for the illustration and, and see how we progress from there. Um, and for the concept of the illustration, I was kind of sketching in my notebook. I had an idea since OpenMind is a startup where you actually, it's a service where you use chat messaging with a mentor to learn and grow and the mentors help you succeed. And so I was kind of drawing like two text bubbles and like the mentor is pulling up the student and helping him climb to the top. So that was kind of the sketch, rough sketch that I sent the illustrator along with the, the reference from Pastel. And she sent me back this illustration, kind of two color palettes. And this, I th thought this was a good start, but it had some problems. It wasn't looking like uh, this guy's climbing, more like he's like tying his shoelace. And so I gave her some feedback. Um, and then she came up with this, which was like a much better, um, much better improvement. And then I tried to put in kind of like a frame of an iPhone, like very, very slim. I don't know if you can see it in the background to give it a context as text messaging within an app. And she tried that with several color palette. And we thought this was a good start. Still, we had we weren't really sure about the colors. We weren't really sure. Max had some uh, he wanted for diversity purposes to have the mentor uh, be a female, and so we had a couple more iterations on that. And uh, and I also tried to change some color palettes myself. So I find this illustration with some colors that I like, and I try. Hey, what happens if like the iPhone is actually sky? Um, what happens if it's a little bit more handmade? I did some what happens if it's an outline. So I did a couple of iterations uh, myself. Yeah, some more. Sometimes the, I tried, I thought it would be more cool like layout if the, if the iPhone might be a perspective, but it was kind of, the story was kind of getting lost here. So as you can see, we tried multiple things and uh, eventually, um, yeah, so here we try like a lot of different color palettes. Here you can see it's already a female and uh, just trying a lot of different colors to see what we like. Eventually, actually it was Max that I think came up with this color palette while playing with it himself. And we said, okay, this is, this is 
quite a good illustration. I had a problem with this. I didn't thought it was such a good composition for the hero. I didn't thought it was really powerful, but I thought, all right, it's good enough. We can get started from this and we can, you know, we can start developing the website or developing the other illustrations since we were on a tight deadline. We had to finish the design today in order to develop it next week because Max is having a lunch. We had to progress. So even if we're not like 100% super sure about this, let's just keep on moving, keep the ball going, and then maybe we can improve it later on. So we said, okay. And then I, I sent the illustrator like a lot of uh, comments like I sent her the wireframe with like as you can see some red text here with what I want to see in the illustration so a girl building a robot um, somebody at a desk working on a computer person doing yoga so I actually told her what what we need to have um, this illustration should show profile cards of the mentors and show one of the cards selected so this is how I communicated to her what I want the illustrations to be and um, and she sent me back this so as you can see, we're starting to get the illustration and the colors going. We tried multiple styles for the icons. Now the website is starting to, to feel a bit more designed. We had some success stories and we weren't sure how to present them since we didn't really have the photos from the people um, themselves. And Max thought that this looks a little bit too much like a stock photo, which it is. And so we weren't really sure about this. So at the next phase, as I told you, I wasn't really liking how the iPhone looks like in the whole composition of this. So eventually I came out of, into this, um, which I felt was like more breaking out of the composition, good use of space, a little bit more depth. And this, this I really like. Max originally did not like it that much, but it grew onto him after <laughs> several days. Um, but one thing we had was that we weren't I still, after all those iterations, we were still not sure about the color scheme because even though it looks nice and friendly, um, it kind of lacks a clear brand color or a feel to the website, which I told Matt would help create like a brandable identity if you have like a specific color. Um, so we, tr we, we tried something with just blue color, blue and gray, so we wanted to try it, but that looked a bit dull right um and then again max came up with a better color palette which is kind of like skin tones with the blues and grays and this actually looks still brandable and recognizable that blue is the color of open mind but still there's a little bit more kind of <coughs> sorry depth and, and color in it and so i feel this one looks a bit nicer um, as I told you, Max wasn't really sure about the stock photos, so I created something else with like a little card uh, demoing what was the subject learned and how long was the duration of the case study. Um, so this was a better way to approach success stories, kind of showing the result, but also showing what, what they learned and how long it took them to learn. Um, yeah, and so basically, this is where we are at the moment. This is the page for mentors sign up. So we did an illustration for that as well. And overall, now I feel like it's a really, really much more coherent and powerful um, visual language for the website. I'm actually really, really happy with how this came about. And um, yeah, it was a great process. So this was around eight rounds of iteration over, over two weeks almost. So that's, you know, usually I, I, I always feel optimistic when I'm sending a proposal and I'm like three rounds of iteration are, are included, but obviously it always takes more time. Um, so obviously I did not charge Max extra for all those iterations because I felt like I structured like two weeks of design process for, for the project and we actually did it in two weeks by working together. So instead of just sending him the end result after two weeks and then getting tons of feedback and then, you know, delaying the project, we just worked together through the whole process and I feel like we got to a much better result um, by working together, by doing really fast iterations, uh, working together every day. And um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with the result and I think Max is happy as well, hopefully. Um, we'll bring him on the call <laughs> for the next video, hopefully. Um, so next week, I'm gonna develop this website in Webflow. I have some ideas for like cool interactions and a little bit of movement that 
can make this website lively and awesome. Um, so I'm looking forward for next week's to actually building it and hopefully by the end of next week, it will already be live. Yeah. All right, hope you find this helpful uh, and had a great day and I will catch you guys next week. Bye.